Welcome back to The Division 2. In this video, we are going to try something that I, I don't think I've ever really tried. And what is going to be is using an SMG to run a mission. The SMG I'm going to be using is called Safety Distance. I'm going to quickly mod it up before we jump into the mission. And you can see that it's, it's nearly the perfect stats. 14% SMG damage, 19.5 crit chance, and it's got Rate of Fire as its attribute. Perfect outsider, after killing an enemy, I gain 125% optimal range and accuracy for 10 seconds. It's got a base damage of 96.6k. I've tested it down in the shooting range, and it was hitting for, like, I, I saw damage numbers up to, like, 375k. The last time I used an SMG, and bearing in mind this only has a 30 round mag, it might change a little bit when I've put the attachments on it. But the last time I used an SMG was probably when I was running the chatterbox as my secondary. And I never actually used the gun. I just had it there for the holstered talent. So it was a long, long time ago. I don't really use them, but I want to try it and see what it's like. And I'm going to try this if I can find myself a good shotgun, because I don't really have one. I normally use a rifle, LMG, sometimes an AR. But obviously the optimal range is a lot lower, so I need to try and get closer, but it's going to be tough because survivability sucks in this game. So let me just quickly mod it up. We're only going to run the mission on challenging. I just want to see what this gun's like and see if maybe an SMG could be viable because when TU-10 does drop, I'm going to be looking through the patch notes to see what's getting the biggest buffs. I'm going to be trying all these weapons and stuff and hopefully we can find something that will be PvE meta. I know it won't last long, maybe a month or two until they release the next title update, quote, on quote title update until they release the next patch and they balance and nerf and buff and do all this weird stuff all over again but it could be good and hopefully if we can find like an smg that's good hopefully it doesn't get touched for a couple of title updates and that way we're safe to use it for a little while okay so we are doing the one and only american history museum it's on challenging this is a really short mission so i like using it just to test different things i did put the mods on and you can see that it's now got a 50 round mag. And for the other attachments, I just went for accuracy and stability because I don't need crit chance. I'm 60% crit chance, 121% crit damage, I believe, and 110% headshot damage. So let's go into the mission and let's see what it's like. I'm going to pop my drone straight away. And I mean, this could actually be quite good because I've managed to extend it to a 50 round mag. I mean, the AI are acting quite dumb right now. Where are you? I don't think the AI, huh? Okay, you're gonna fire shots at me. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. This is obviously not the best I can get it either. And my build isn't optimized for SMGs. It's optimized for LMG rifle. I'm taking some heavy hits from the shotgunners though. See, I would normally sit back over like here behind this sort of cover area at the door. But I need to push a little bit further just because of the optimal range. It's a lot lower than the guns I normally use. I mean, it's still, like, you can see there, it's still pretty good at range as well. Nice and accurate. Nice and stable. Absolutely shredding the enemies. And I, I just wish I had a fully optimized build for it. The only reason I haven't done it is because we are so close to TU-10 that everything is going to change. So I, I don't want to be completely switching out my build and grinding for pieces because I'd like to get a good shotgun, but I don't know if it's going to be any good when TU-10 drops. So I'd rather just wait for that update to come out and then start looking for the gear. Right now, this is an incredible gun to use. Please stop firing. Please stop firing. Please stop fu Are you fucking joking? Thank you! Jesus Christ! Don't even start firing again. No, that's what I thought. Sit down. I mean, he was already laying down. You, you get my point. I think the toughest part of this is going to be the boss fight, because obviously it's out in the open. 
there's a lot of room and the boss is a sniper. But I'm going to stick to safety distance. I'm going to use the SMG. See, I, I think right now, because obviously Massive are taking the piss with new content. They're just refusing for whatever reason to make anything that's valuable to the community. I think it's good right now to test different things and jump out of your comfort zone just to see what works for you. Because I like if you would have asked me if I would ever use an SMG, I probably would have said no. And I mean, I don't know how this is going to work on Heroic and in groups, but for solo challenging, it's actually really nice. It's a breath of fresh air. Even shooting them, like, in the waist is still doing good. Oh, look, Hyena Crackhead. Gotta love to see them. Stay shocked for a moment. Kill you, kill you. Thank you very much. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Night, night. SMG up close. That's what you like. Oh, you don't like that, though. Fuck me. I do have my hive, but I don't want to be using it right now. Come on, last mag. Yes. Nicely done. I mean, at this moment in time, I can just spray and pray. Because I will eventually kill this guy, and there's an ammo crate right behind me. <laughs> this is not... Good for the range at all. Even with burst fire, it's inaccurate at this range. It just seems as though he's not taking damage. Oh, he stood up. Oh, he's laid back down. What? I'm aiming right on him. I didn't hit him for like the last five rounds. I'm not giving up with this SMG from this range. You can see that my crosshairs are going red. I am landing a few shots. He's down to health damage. Oh my god, I've got three mags left. Are you joking? Imagine being in this situation, having no ammo around you, and it's the only gun you've got. I got him. 34 rounds left. Oh my fucking god. I just had to pick up nearly a thousand SMG rounds. Oh, and this boss is a sniper. You, you're an absolute prick. I'm in such a pickle right now. This is possibly the worst situation I could be in. Come on, peek me. Thank you. Oh, no. No, no, no. Wait, oh, I can't. No. Jesus Christ. Oh, look, Briggs is there. If I don't have a big splotch of shit in my fucking face. Oh, I can't see his legs. I need to get his legs. Because he's got armor. No, he hasn't. We did it. Oh, my God. I'm not going to lie, that was actually a lot more fun than just running with my standard weapons. My build is nowhere near optimised. Yeah, it's like a crit chance, crit damage build. Some headshot damage in there, I believe. Somewhere, there you go, there's some. But it was it's my rifle LMG build. I've got the Fox's Prayer knees. There's nothing to like compliment an SMG. And that's still absolutely shredded. It was only challenging a lot of red bars, but... It was a lot of fun to use. But what I'm going to do is leave the video there. 
I want you to let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. Do you run an SMG? Have you run an SMG? What do you think of them? Let me know all of that good stuff below. That's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.